Hello, everyone. Welcome to the part one of our hands-on guided project on land cover analysis. Uh, you will find the link to add this repository in the video description. Once you click on that link, you will see a new repository called end-to-end -end projects in your readers tab on the left hand side of the Google Earth Engine code editor. Now, if you don't see it, make sure after clicking the link, you can refresh the tab. Once you do, you will see this uh, repository under your readers tab. Uh, from there, we're going to, you'll find a folder called land cover analysis and all the code that I'm going to show you, it's part uh, available there. This is a guided project. That means we're going to start with the script 1A, and then slowly I will build all the scripts one step at a time. Uh, all the finished scripts are also available, but uh, if you uh, want to practice, what you can do is you can watch me code and then go and try to replicate on your own. This is a great way to practice your coding skills, but if you get stuck, you can always refer to the complete script in the B. Okay, so let's load the script 1A, which is the blank script. We're gonna do this one step at a time. So the first step is to load some admin boundaries. If you want to use your own boundaries, you can upload your shape file as an asset here. And once you upload it, it'll be ingested as an asset, which you can use in the script instead of the method that we are following. Earth Engine also has many existing boundary data sets, and we'll use one of them instead of uploading our own data. Uh, today, we're going to use this data set called Call. This is a UNFAO provided data set. Uh, they have three different collections. One is uh, county boundaries, admin zero. Uh, so if you're looking for a country level uh, data, you can load this. Uh, then there's admin one, which is the first level admin boundaries, which are typically states or provinces. And then the second level admin boundaries, which are counties or districts. We're going to use this one today. I'm going to use the FAO Call uh, 500 meter uh, second level administrative boundaries. And I can clip import here and it'll be imported in my code editor. Let me rename this to admin2. So now I have a variable admin2, which is refers to this uh, boundaries. Let's add it to the map and check it out. You can also use control enter if you don't want to click the run button. So I typically like to use this shortcut so I don't have to reach out and click this run button. So now you can see this one is a global layer of all the districts or province or counties in the whole world. Um, and you can go to the region of your choice. You can also search. So if you're interested in a particular region, uh, for this project, we're gonna uh, work on this region. It is uh, one of the districts in India. And I want to do land cover analysis for this district. You can choose any uh, district or any region of your choice. And once you uh, zoom in here, uh, you can switch to the inspector tab and then click on the polygon. Here, uh, the inspector will show which feature you clicked on and it'll show you some of the properties. So the properties are the attributes of this features. If you uploaded a shape file, you'll see the same attribute table available as a property here. Here you can see there are uh, different properties. Uh, it says the admin two name of this region is Udaipur. Uh, the state that this district is part of, it's the admin one name, which is Rajasthan. And then admin zero, it's part of this country, India. So the first step is I want to extract this polygon out of this layer so that I can use that geometry to clip my land cover data. So I will have to apply a filter. So I will just uh, uh, create a new variable called selected. We'll take our admin2 uh, layer and we'll apply a filter. Uh, if your admin2 name is unique enough, you can just apply one filter, which says EE filter EQ, where you can just take the admin2 name and say the name of this property called admin to name should be this name. And if I add this to my map, you will see that now you would have selected just this one uh, district out of the whole collection. For many times though, uh, the admin to name may not be unique. Uh, uh, for example, in the US, there are many counties which have the same name. I believe there are multiple Washington counties. So if your county name is Washington County uh, and you just select that, you'll end up with multiple polygons that match that. So uh, a more robust way to apply this filter would be to just apply this filter sequentially and match both 
uh, admin2, admin1, along with admin0 name. And that means you're going to end up with the exact unique polygon. So I'm going to uh, write more uh, filters. So I will say first select the filter where the admin zero name is the admin zero name for the region, which is India here. And I'm going to chain another filter and say the admin one name should also be what is available for this particular feature. And uh, of course, we apply the admin two filter as well. And now uh, we are assured that it's only going to match one feature in the entire collection where all these three properties match. So we have uh, extracted, remember this is still a feature collection. It is just containing one features and we can extract a geometry from a feature collection using this function called dot geometry. Dot geometry will give you the union of all the uh, union geometry of all the features. Since the selected variable contains only one feature in the feature collection, we'll get the geometry of that. And then we can just say map dot center object, which is going to zoom to this particular property. So now we started with the whole uh, feature collection for all the admin two polygons in the world and we filtered down to this one polygon for one of the, the regions. Uh, we can also make our script a little better to update so it's easier to kind of change the values. Instead of hard coding the values here, we'll just use them as variables. So I'll just say, I'll define a variable for ADM zero name and keep its value as India. And now instead of India, I will use this. Right. This is just easier so I can, you know, in my entire script, I'll always refer to ADM zero name, which will be the admin uh, zero name. And this will help me update the code much easier. If I want to analyze a different region, I simply come here and change those variables instead of going and changing all the hard coded values. So similarly, I will just uh, name this as ADM one. And remember this uh, variables are just uh, names could be anything. They don't have to be ADM one name. It could be, you know, country, state, district, whichever. Uh, just use uh, variable names that are more descriptive. So you know what they mean. And here we'll do ADM two names. All right, so we have our first script done where we loaded a feature collection, applied a series of filters to find the region of our interest. And the way we did this was we first we added the whole layer and we zoomed into the region that we were interested in, clicked on it and found out how the, the polygon is represented in the data set. And we copied all those values here. And once you run this, you should see the geometry for your region. Uh, in the next script, we're going to load the, the land cover data and clip it to this geometry. So see you in the next video.